this rational expression. First off, this is an addition. And so when you add fractions, you have to have a common denominator. So the first thing I might do is factor this to find the common denominator when you have uh, polynomials here. So basically, I look at this 3x plus 9, and I can see that 3 will go into 3x and 9, which means it will reduce to 3 times x plus 3. And the reason this is important is because I already have an x plus 3 on the other denominator here, so I don't need to multiply x plus 3 times the one side and 3x plus 9 and make my numbers bigger. I'm going for the lowest common denominator, which in this case will be 3 times x plus 3. I already have a 3 over x plus 3 on the right side, so I need to have it on the left. So that means I would need to multiply it by 3 over 3. What I love about this is technically I'm multiplying by 1. When you multiply by 1, we're not changing its value. But because it's 3 over 3, we're not changing the value. We're just changing the way it looks. I'll take 3 times the numerator of 2x, 3 times the quantity x plus 3. Now I have the same denominator, so I can add these together. And 6x and 1x make 7x plus 7 over the 3 to the x plus 3, and I could write my answer like that, or I could factor it, write it 7 over 3, x plus 1, which might be a good thing to do because sometimes these may cancel. It didn't in this case. Or sometimes it may want you to multiply it out, 7x plus 7 over 3x plus 9. All three of these would be considered correct. This would be in factored form. This is what I call expanded form. All right. Also, we, here's another rational expression we can simplify. And by doing this here, I definitely want to factor first. So first off, I would factor the, the numerator with the 21. The factor is a 21. You can go to calculate the 21 divided by x to find the factors if you have trouble with factoring. The only factors that go in the 21 evenly are 21 and 1, 7 and 3. It's a plus sign here, so I put a plus between them. So, and I know 7 plus 3 makes 10 my middle number. That's what I'm looking for. So now I'm going to have an x with a 7, x with a 3. But the larger number will always, always, always match the middle term, so it's a positive. And because the last one's positive, they both have to be the same. So if that one's positive, it makes the 3 positive. Now I'm going to factor the 12. Once again, you can go to the calculator if you want, but 12 factors are 12 and 1, 6 and 2, 4 and 3. And this time it's a minus, so I'm going to subtract the numbers instead of add them to make the middle number. And 4 and 3 make the 1, so I'm going to have an x with a 4, an x with a 3. The larger number will always, always, always match the sign. And because it's negative, 4 will be negative. And because the last one's negative, the only way I can get a negative when I multiply is if one's negative and one is positive. So now I factored it, and I have this. And now because these are the same, I can basically simplify by crossing those out. So I end up with an answer of x plus 7 over x minus 4 for my solution to simplify this one.